President threatens to ban all social media platforms as Ebony State loses a commissioner. President Muhammad Buhari has threatened to suspend all social media platforms that allow their apps to be used for the propagation of the division of Nigeria. Speaking at a meeting of the House of Representatives Joint Committee on Information, justice and communications on tuesday the 22nd of june 2021 why answering questions about the ban that has been placed on the micro blogging site twitter lai mohammed the minister for information and culture said that the reason why the federal government placed a ban or a suspension on twitter was because twitter made its platform available as an option for people who have been looking for a way to destabilize Nigeria and cause serious problems in the country. And they said that before they will lift up the suspension on Twitter, that Twitter has to be registered first in the country before it can be fully allowed to continue. Meanwhile, the members of the Joint Committee on Information, Justice and Communications had gone ahead to ask the Minister for Information and Culture if there has been any dialogue between Twitter and the federal government of Nigeria. But the minister said uh, Nigeria has tried to reach out to the, uh, the operators of Twitter, but of course they've scorned the country and has refused to have any discussion with them. The minister also went ahead to say that the government of Nigeria will not delay in the suspension of every other social media platform like whatsapp google instagram facebook hangouts tiktok and others if they are found guilty of promoting posts or statements or videos that are capable of tearing the country apart the minister also went ahead to complain that although nigerians are the largest number of persons using Twitter in Africa. Twitter did not deem it fit to place their office uh, in Nigeria as a form of investment, but rather they took their office to Ghana whilst their target market is in Nigeria. They said that is highly, highly um, condemnable. And as a matter of fact, Twitter will have to register in Nigeria and be regulated like every other um, you know news channel meanwhile an echoes court of justice in abuja has ruled uh, restraining the punishment of nigerians who are still using the suspended social media platform twitter by the federal government the echoes court of justice ruled that there is a restraint on the government of president muhammad Buhari and its agent from unlawfully imposing sanctions or doing anything whatsoever to harass, intimidate, arrest, or prosecute Twitter or any other social media service provider, media houses, radio and television broadcast stations all over the country. Now, following this ruling by the Equus Court in Abuja, which bans or blocks uh, President Mohamed Buhari from arresting Nigerians who are still using Twitter. 
uh, Minister for Information and Culture, Lai Mohamed, has come out to say that the federal government will still go ahead in the suspension of social media platforms as long as their content threatens the corporate existence of Nigeria. Meanwhile, in another news, the governor of Ebonyi State, Governor David Umayi, has confirmed the passage of Mr. Fidelis Wanze, a commissioner in Ebonyi State, who passed on after he was involved in an auto crash earlier this week. Governor Umayi has gone ahead to describe Mr. Wanze Fidelis as one of the pioneers of the structural development of Ebonyi State. He has described him as a friend and a brother. Following the passage of Mr. Wednesday Fidelis, the governor of Emboyne State has ordered that all flags in Emboyne State should fly at half mast on Wednesday, the 23rd of June 2021. The governor has also enjoined all government officials of Emboyne State to proceed on a fast seeking the face of God to intervene in the affairs of Emboyne State. He said that the Christian Association of Nigeria is charged to organize prayers to break the fast at by 4 p.m. at the Christian Economical Center every day beginning from Wednesday 23rd of June to Saturday 26th of June 2021. And he has pleaded that all government officials should please join in the activities and has said that they should also pray that the soul of Mr. Wednesday Fidelis will rest in peace. So guys, what do you think about the president's uh, threats to suspend every other social media um, application from operating in Nigeria? Is it the right move or it is a wrong move in the wrong direction? Drop your comment in the comment section. This is where we come to the end of this edition of DJN TV Daily News Update. A very big thank you for staying with us till the end of this video. Do not forget to like and share this video and subscribe if you've not done so. Turn on the notification bell to be one of the first persons to receive any update on this news we just brought to you. Until we come your way again with another edition of DJN TV Daily News Update, do not forget to like and follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Check out our website at www.djmtv. News. My name is Laura Favor saying that the security of the nation is everybody's concern. So please, if you see something, say something. Yeah. yeah. DJ and TV.